let me show you how routing works in under the hood in Koa.js. First of all, I'm going to replace the arrow function to standard function. It will help for debugging. So I'm going to replace the arrow function to standard. You can also write the name of the function. I'm going to choose base route. Let me replace the context, the arrow function because we have replaced to standard function. So here I'm also going to do the same stuff. Let me remove the arrow function and the name of the function is cat post. It will be helpful for the debugging. Now I'm going to put breakpoint here. Let me start the debugging. You can see that it has stopped at our first breakpoint. Now I'm going to step into the function, the step into the router function. If we have, it is a constructor function. You can say that you can generate objects from this constructor function. Here we have the options, here we have the methods. These are all the properties in the router class. Let me see the instance of the router. Here we have the methods, options, params. Here we have the empty stack. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to step into this get function. What will happening under the hood? Here we have the get method. The name is root path and it will, it will convert the name to path. Here you can see that the path is root route, which is slash. Now it is going to create a new layer and push this layer inside this tag. I'm going to step into this register function. We have the path is root and this is a method and this is our middleware function, which is base route. Here you can see that this is the middleware, which is base route. That's why I replaced the arrow function to base route, arrow function to standard function. I'm going to step over the code. It will have the stack. Okay. Everything looks good so far. Now this layer will maintain the stack. I'm going to step into this layer. What will happening in under the hood? Here we have the path methods, which is get, and this is our middleware, which is base route. Did you see that it has a stack? So this middleware will be pushed inside this stack. So everything looks good so far. Now we have the route and it has created this tag. The middleware it has pushed inside this tag. You can see that this is the base route. So now it is going to push a layer. This route became a layer in Koa.js because it is an instance of the layer and this layer will be pushed inside this tag array. So the same stuff will be happen for each route. Now I'm going to step into this post route Here you will see that the path is slash post. Okay, cool. Now it is going to register that what it will do. It will create a new layer. Let me go to inside that and it will register this our middleware function inside this tag. You can see that. Here we have route and this is our middleware inside this tag. The, the name of the method is get post. So it is going to push this layer inside this tag. So the same stuff will be happen for each route. Everything is going and going and on and on. Now you will see the router. Let me show you the router and router has an array of stacks. So each object is a layer. You can see that and each layer and inside the layer will have a stack. And in this stack, we have a middleware function. This is our middleware function, which is base route. Let me show you the second layer. In the second layer has a stack array and inside this array, you will have our middleware function, which is get post. So this is how routing works in Koa.js. Koa maintains the stack of routing layer. What will happen inside the router dot use method? Let me step into the code. It will have a dispatch method. Whenever you send the request, it will call your dispatch method. So I'm going to put breakpoint here. Everything looks good so far. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put breakpoint here. So let me start the server. Now I'm going to send the request. 
when you send the request to the server this router.routes has registered your middleware this router.routes has registered your routing middleware whenever you send the request your application your coa js will call your routing level middleware now i'm trying to find all the post it has stopped at our dispatch method because i put the breakpoint here did you see that everything looks good so far here we have it has attached the router inside the context here we have the array of stack which is a layer let me put breakpoint here i have already put the breakpoint now it is going to call this method our callback middleware method incredible here we have the context you can also access all the properties from the context request request and here we where is the router here you can also see the router where is the router ah here we have the router router has a stack layer of stack now it is going to send the response you got the response in this way routing works in coa js